What is up, FHS? My name is Caleb Truman, and I'm here today with representatives of the Hazel Health Group. We are here today, today to talk about the telehealth program. So to start things off, because I love simple questions, what is the telehealth program? What? Yeah, thank you, Caleb. It, it's a program that we just started with Farmington um, about several weeks ago uh, that would allow um, students to, uh, when visiting with Nurse Roth, if Nurse Roth feels it would be helpful to have a doctor look at a student for a condition. Mm -hmm. um, she can have a doctor uh, look at the student through a, a, an iPad-based system and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully help the student uh, feel better, get back to class, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and not miss any school. Okay, so um, would I need parent permission to do this? Do I need parents to sign off on this, like or a guardian? Yeah, so absolutely. Um, we need parent permission for you to see a doctor, just like I need parent permission and um, doctor signature to give any kind of medication at school anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so it's optional. You don't have to sign up. Um, but if you do want to participate in the visits, I need a permission. Okay. But so we're trying to get a doctor onto an iPad. Would this cost us anything? Would this cost the, per the patient anything to get the visit to go? No. No. There's no. no cost. No, 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 no cost. No cost at all. Okay, that's, that's fantastic. Are there any like requirements or qualifications? Like, do, can I go in for like just a headache or do I need to have like legi a legitimately bit bad problem? Um, no. So you just need to be a student of Farmington School District. So um, I see students every day for a wide range of you know, small mm -hmm. minimal symptoms to mm -hmm. emergency symptoms. So whatever it is, just come and see me and we'll sort through it. So let's say I wanted to see my regular doctor, but he wasn't available for whatever reason. Who would I see then for a telehealth visit? Uh, so we have uh, a team of board certified uh, Missouri um, physicians that we work with that are hazel doctors, essentially. Mm -hmm. So when you have a, a hazel visit, you would see one of our doctors um, so you pro likely would not see your um, mm -hmm. family doctor, um, but what we will do is we will communicate with your family doctor and um, share uh, what we call the discharge or information about mm -hmm. what we saw mm -hmm. you for uh, so that we can uh, make sure your family doctor is aware of that. Um, we don't um, ever seek to be what they call the medical home for any students. The medical home should be someone in the community, mm -hmm. uh, and we encourage that, and we uh, really work hard to connect any students that might not have a, a family doctor with someone in the community as well. Okay. So if I'm not seeing like my regular doctor, would I be still able to get prescription from this other doctor? Yes, you can. Um, at school, you can get over-the-counter medication after mm -hmm. seeing a Hazel provider if that's necessary. And they can also prescribe prescription medications to your local pharmacy as well. When are these doctors available? Are they like available throughout the whole school day or is it like certain time blocks? What is it? So um, during school hours, you can come and see me. Um, and then at home, it's 7 to 5 if you did an at-home visit, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, fantastic. Um, I believe that's all we have. Thank you guys so much for coming, mm -hmm. and um, uh, have a good day. Thank you, Thank Caleb. You.